ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very first episode of SWF Uprising. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially a two-show promotion now with Uprising and Rebellion. We're not going to waste any time here in El Paso, Texas. Let's get in to our first matchup, and as these gentlemen make their way to the ring, matchup number one, it is a six-man matchup the top two men are going to move on to next week and face off against the top two men of our main event which is another six-man match fatal four-way for the television championship that's right this matchup as we see brian the brain headed down to the ring right now this matchup will determine the last two men standing will move on and get an opportunity for the Uprising Television Championship. Along with that, this evening, we have some matches in the first round of our tag team tournament that will involve James Gaines. He's going to have to pull double duty tonight, as well as his tag team partner, Jesse Newman, in that other six-man uh, matchup. In as well in that six-man matchup is Marco Corzo, the brother of Alex Corzo, who we saw at the pay-per-view, won that SWF championship contract. The Tijuana family, the Corzo brothers, will be taking on the Sons of Carnage about mid-card here tonight. A newcomer here to SWF, but definitely not a stranger to our GM, Jackson Montgomery, this man. From the land down under, this is Seb Abbott. With those two matches that I've mentioned just now, as well as the tag team match, we have two matches in our SWF Uprising Heavyweight Championship Tournament. That will be Jay Wolf and Tyler Adams in one matchup, Vice and Havoc in the second matchup. The last two matches we have tonight as we see Morpheus making his way to the ring. All of a sudden, uh, Brett Storm has disappeared from SWF. He, we, we don't know what happened to him after the draft. Um, even though he was drafted, Brett Storm just vanished. Uh, but this Morpheus character uh, popped up and oh good god and so now morpheus is here on uprising taking part in this six-man matchup for a shot at the television championship uh two more matches we have for this evening and it is going to be the round one matchups for our swf phoenix championship that is the uprising women's division as we see will steel getting every opportunity here in swf multiple internet championship title shots and now an opportunity to fight for the television championship so pretty much every match on this card tonight is a uh, tournament match we have two six-man matches for the television championship we have two swf uprising heavyweight championship tournament round one matches we have two women's matches as well so we've got a lot, a lot going on here tonight. Six men in the ring, and it has begun. You cannot leave the ring. You must win by pinfall or submission. Not over the top this time. I, Myself and the board, as well as the GM, Jackson Montgomery, felt that over the top, just a little too too simple and this is going to be more chaotic with six men in the ring and they're unable to leave so let's see what's in store for us here as i said brian the brain and james Gaines in the ring their teams brian is teaming up with ends jesse or excuse me james Gaines teams up with jesse newman if uh, these gentlemen happen to make their way to the television championship matchup and win and also head into that tag team tournament and win then guess what they're going to get an opportunity to be a double champion right off the bat so that is going to be exciting 
if I say so myself. Crane with a big backbreaker to Morpheus there in the top. Brian just digging Seb's head right into the into the mat there. As I said, pretty chaotic. Whoa, little stereo suplexes there. Will steal. Oh, went for a move to James Gaines and was slapped away. Brian now on the second rope. Nice reverse DDT from Gaines. Will Steele going for a snap suplex, but reverse. But Brian comes flying off of that turnbuckle and lands on Seb Abbott. And look at Jane, Jesse. Oh, excuse me, not Jesse. James. Their names are so similar. And it's confusing me a tad. Morpheus going to town on the face of Will Steele. Crane going to toss. Nope. Reversal. Nice flip there from Crane and a kick to the face. Will Steele dodges the diving move from Morpheus and Brian the Brain just blasted Seb Abbott in the face with a huge kick right to the side of the head. My goodness, there's a lot going on in this matchup. Morpheus really slamming Will, Will Steele down. Into the corner goes Seb. Crane slowly making it up to his feet. And Jesse, I did it again. James Gaines gets slapped right out of the air. Crane's going to quickly go for the tag here. Elimination rules in this matchup. It is not a uh, one pinfall. This is elimination style. Big uppercut from Seb. And he's going to go for the pin on Brian. No, not even a one count there. Possibly broken up unintentionally with the madness going on. People are not able to land moves off of this turnbuckle as Crane slams into the mat. Reversal from Brian. Will has Morpheus up into a, a Northern Lights and he's gonna roll through it. Look at the strength that Will Steele. He picks him up in a suplex. A second punt to the head of Seb Abbott from Brian the Brain and Seb is busted open. Blood running completely down his face. My goodness, look at Jesse though. Excuse me, I this I keep doing it. James with a big sliding knee to the face of Crane. Will Steele has Morpheus up on his shoulders. Big F5, that is a deal breaker right there from Will Steele. He's gonna go for the pin on Morpheus as Seb has Brian the Brain in a power bomb and drops him down. It looks like Morpheus was able to kick out. My goodness, this is just insanity. Will stalking Seb Abbott now. Gonna spin him around, knee to the face, big clothesline. And a knee to the face of Crane from James, and he goes for the pin. And that is it for Crane. He is the first man eliminated. There are five men left. James going for a big rolling knee. Just misses. And the strength from Brian as he's picked Morpheus up and drops him down onto his back. A low blow from Seb Abbott. My goodness. And now Brian's got Morpheus up with a brain buster. That's got to be it. That's got to be it for Morpheus. And he is locked in a, a dragon lock of some sort is what that looks like to me. Dragon sleeper, I mean, excuse me. Is he going to tap? He doesn't tap. It doesn't look like it. And, oh, what a face buster there from, J from James. And Morpheus is able to kick out again. My, my. These guys not wanting to give up. I don't blame them. A lot at stake here on the new show. Nice face buster there from Will Steele, but right into a side Russian leg sweep from Seb Abbott. Brian sent across the ring from Morpheus. Seb stalking Will, but James stopping up anything from happening there. Oh, and a kick. Look at Morpheus, big stomp to Brian as he goes down to the mat. Instead of going for the pin though, Morpheus is gonna walk around. 
Over the top goes Will Steele and lands right on the head of James Gaines. Morpheus stalking Brian now. Big spike right to the head of Brian the Brain. And deal breaker to Seb Abbott. My goodness, Seb has been taking some serious punishment in this matchup. Oh, I was just about to say it wouldn't be surprising if Seb was pinned here, but he kicks out at the last minute. Oh, and a reversal clothesline by Will. Down goes Morpheus for the pin on, on Jesse. Jeez. Oh, on James, excuse me. Brian landing those big knees and a reversal from Seb into a clothesline to Will Steele. James goes down for the pin on Morpheus and a two count and look at, oh my God, Seb just turned Will Steele inside out, going for the pin, one, two, no. And oh my God, a lot, of, lot just happened. Morpheus just gets punted in the head. A knee to the face of Brian the Brain from James. Massive clothesline from Seb to Will Steele, and now James is in that dragon sleeper from Brian. He's gonna have to try to fight his way out of this situation center of the ring, and he does. Wow. He fights his way out of that sleeper. Very interesting. Look at Brian now spinning Will Steele into a power bomb. The pin on Seb from Morpheus. And no, Seb Abbott kicks out. My goodness. Will Steele dodges a kick. Brian's got him up and drops him right on his head. My goodness. And now, oh, we it looked like James was going for that face buster and what an STO there from Brian. Seb going for the pin on Morpheus. Two. Just a two count. It looked like two pins going on at once there. Lots of stuff going on still in this matchup. Nice single under or single overhook backbreaker. And look at Abbott. Oh my gosh. Drops James Gaines right on his face. Immediately picks him up and tries to go at him with a huge clothesline. He may have gotten him just a little bit, but with all the chaos going in the ring. Brian runs into James as well. Nice move there from Morpheus. Seb's gonna kick him away though. And Will, he's got Brian up. Is he gonna be able to hit him? He does, deal breaker right there. And doesn't go for the pin, how interesting. German suplex to James. Big move from Morpheus there to Seb, and now Morpheus is gonna go over to the James, excuse me, over to Brian, and that's it. Brian has been eliminated. Morpheus took advantage of the deal breaker delivered by Will, and it looked like James was gearing up for something. Oh, flips out of that move by Morpheus. Four men remain here. Morpheus has got him around, gut buster, man. This guy is not playing around, and oh, what a clothesline. Will just bounced off of those ropes. And Seb with a big knee across Will's knee. Oh, and a second one. Nice float over neck breaker from James. Rake in the back does Abbott to steal. James now look, trying to possibly take that mask off of Morpheus. Both men pick up their opponents. Seb reverses and a knee right to the jaw of Morpheus from James Gaines there. In the corner is Seb and Will. James decides to go for the pin. Will's been busted open. Two. And that is it. Morpheus has been eliminated. Three men left. Now remember, as we see this. Oh, I thought it was going to be a three amigos suplex into a back suplex. The last two men remaining, regardless of who actually wins this matchup, gets the final pin. The last two men will be headed into next week on Uprising, where we will crown our first ever television champion. 
Rolling Seb to the center of the ring. Oh, oh, look at this. Into, no. James wants his opportunity. Now Will wants his opportunity with Seb and a face buster there. Seb's neck kind of getting hung up on those bottom, on that bottom rope now. Oh my gosh. Will looked to be going for a suplex, but James rolls him up. And just like that, Will Steele has been eliminated from this matchup. What a surprising and, and just unpredictable way for that to happen. My goodness. German into a clothesline, turning James inside out. Seb goes for the pin on James Gaines. And just like that, Seb Abbott has won this matchup. But as I said previously, the final two men will move on to next week where they will be taking part in that fatal four-way with the two men left in our other six-man matchup later this evening. So James Gaines and Seb Abbott move on to next week's championship matchup. We have a big knee to the jaw of brain. And just look at this maniac. These Australian crazy people have shown up here in SWF coming all the way from across the world to enter himself in that television championship matchup here in El Paso, Texas. My goodness, what a victory for Seb Abbott, a debuting superstar here in SWF in our opening and inaugural matchup here on Uprising. Well, folks, moving right along here. The lights have gone out and you hear the music. That can only mean one thing. This is our first matchup in round one for the SWF World Heavyweight Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than Tyler Adams. He was in that Elimination Chamber matchup at Capital Combat for Siler Jordan's Internet Championship but was later drafted to Uprising after Luke Luger ended up winning that matchup by, funny enough, tapping out Will Steele. So as I said, Will Steele has had multiple um, opportunities to win a championship here in SWF and has yet to achieve one. But Tyler Adams making his way down to the ring was eliminated from that Elimination Chamber matchup at Capital Combat. But now he's on a new show where new opportunities have arisen for everybody on the roster. Literally every person on this roster has the opportunity, well, minus the uh, four men in the first matchup that were eliminated. But every man and woman on this roster has the opportunity to fight for their chance at the title of their respect of their um, respective brackets. So here we go, Tyler Adams in the wing in the ring, excuse me, waiting his opponent. And it is no other than Jay Wolf. Jay Wolf finishing out his battle with Bruiser Brad at Capital Combat. These two guys really went at it throughout the, the month heading up to Capital Combat. And wouldn't you know, Jay Wolf gets drafted to Uprising, but so does Bruiser Brad. And guess who is also in the SWF Heavyweight Championship Tournament? Wouldn't it be something if Jay Wolf makes it all the way to the end and Bruiser Brad makes it all the way to the end? And these two behemoths these two giants of SWF face off one more time, but this time for SWF Gold. But first, Jay Wolf, he's gonna have to get through Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams has a, oh, he's got quite the mountain 
in front of him. But Tyler Adams has shown us before he can get the victory and he can climb that mountain. So let, let's get this matchup underway as Jay Wolf intimidates all the children there in the front row. Can we get some lights on, please? Thank you very much. These fans are fired up. Tyler Adams, Jay Wolf. The ref checks both men. The bell rings, and right out of the gate, Jay Wolf comes with a huge, huge clothesline. And now working the leg of Tyler Adams. He doesn't know what's going on. Kick to the chest. Jay Wolf not relenting at all. He's got he's got Adams by the throat here. Oh, what a huge gut punch. Sending Tyler off of his feet. My gosh. And Jay Wolf now. Oh boy. This is quick. He's got Tyler Adams up the full moon. That terminating spike. He's going to go for the pin. Is this, is this how it's going to end already? Holy cow. Is that what we have in store for us from Jay Wolf here in this SWF Uprising Championship tournament? He dispatched Tyler Adams quickly and with extreme prejudice. Maybe this is a message to Bruiser Brad. Meet me in the finals and see what happens. If Bruiser Brad can get through his opponent next week on Uprising. Oh, ref, he's a good foot and a half taller than you. You might want to step back. Well, uh, in, in very quick fashion, moving on to the second round of the Uprising Heavyweight Championship Tournament is your winner here against Tyler Adams. It is Jay Wolf. What a matchup there between those two guys. Jay Wolf in full control of that match. Moving forward here tonight on the inaugural episode of Uprising. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another round one matchup in our SWF Uprising Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring is none other than Havoc. Havoc was not happy about not being on the pay-per-view at Capital Combat as Ryan Adams was placed into a fatal four-way matchup with Crane, Duke Zenda, and Ryan Riley. Havoc was then, well, he voiced his opinion quite clearly on Twitter. And when he was drafted here to SWF Uprising, Havoc was given the opportunity to prove his worth. Can he get the victory here tonight against one half of the Cleaners tag team in Vice? We'll have to find out and see. He's got a monster opportunity in, uh, ahead of him here, as I said, as does everyone. Let's see if Havoc, good grief. Oh. Let's see if Havoc can perform and get the victory over Vice. Vice, of course, just going through that brutal and, and probably rivalry of the month, if not the year already, against uh, Leo McKay. Just about every match these two gentlemen had was match of the night. So Vice looking to continue that success and continue that what's the word I'm looking for the momentum through that even though Leo McKay got the victory Vice did not go down without a fight so here we go folks and he is fired up Havoc is ready to go the AK-47 these fans are pumped they are excited to see Vice here on Uprising as he was drafted not too long ago. Havoc waits patiently in the ring, and here we go. One half of the cleaners. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vice. 
he had a Falls Count Anywhere matchup with Leo McKay at the Capital Combat pay-per-view, which, as Falls Count Anywhere matches do, spilled out into the crowd area. Both men battled back and forth before making it up near the stage, and Leo McKay just kind of really took it to Vice there where he ended up rolling the dice and face planting Vice right onto that concrete outside area there just on the other side of the stage and that would spell the end for Vice in that matchup as Leo McKay would get the 1-2-3 and come out victorious at Capital Combat but it's a new time it's a new show and it's a new vice. Is he going to be able to knock off Havoc? Or is it going to be the other way around? Is Vice still reeling from that pay-per-view matchup that was just a few days ago? Vice quickly grabbing Havoc by the head. Puts him up on the top rope and slings him back into the ring. My goodness. Vice, as I said, this man can fight. One of, the, one of the better fighters here in SWF. With those just about every match of, of the night and probably rivalry of the month with Leo McKay. Look at that, whoa. Havoc just picks up Vice, who while they may be the same height, Vice may lack a little bit in the weight department against Havoc. Oh my goodness, big stomp to the chest area of Vice, sending him down to the mat. And now Havoc's got Vice up on one knee. No, Vice not gonna have any of that. Big shot to the stomach. Oh man, that taped up fist. Shades of Hacksaw Jim Duggan there with the tape. And oh, nice reversal there from Havoc. Looked like Vice was possibly going for an, a shot to knock Vice off the, excuse me, knock Havoc off the apron. Havoc was able to reverse that. Nice neck breaker, though, from Vice. And now it's Havoc's turn to be down on one knee as Vice drops him with a DDT. Holy cow. Second rope. And no, Havoc is going to dodge it. Vice landing right on his lower back. Once that lower back gets inflamed, the pain starts shooting through the body. It is not an easy thing to get through. Oh! Suplex face buster. And Havoc doesn't waste any time going right after. Look at that. Picks him up, fireman carry style, and drops him down before locking in a bow and arrow type knee to the back area. And man, he is focusing on that lower back of Vice. He can't hear me, right? I mean, he can't hear what I'm saying. Oh, jeez. When I'm talking about lower back pain, they can't hear me, can they? As Vice just blasted Havoc with a clothesline and a nice suplex there. And Havoc's gonna try to work his way to the ropes to stand up, but Vice helps him do that, that's for sure. Look at this. Oh, oh God, he could have broken his arm, Havoc holding his shoulder there. Nice move there and a nice standing moonsault. Vice. He's on a roll right now, folks. He's got Havoc up. Tosses him away in a kick right to the side of the head. Vice is not fooling around, that's for sure. Shoulder block there from Havoc. And looking around at the crowd and drops a big knee. Right, are you gonna hurt my shoulder? Havoc says he can hurt your shoulder too, Vice. And now he's gonna pick Vice up, and he's got him up by the scruff of the neck area. Snap mare, nope, too much. Maybe Havoc was trying to do too much, and Vice is able to get out of that one. And look at the hands, good lord. Big kick to the chest. And now Vice is saying, bring it. Come on now. And a DDT, what a move that was. He's gonna go for the pin, one. Two and just a two count, wow. Vice really, man, he planted that DDT and now he's gonna look to get Vice up. 
hooking him up. Hades last gift in a face buster. Havoc has been busted open. Vice goes down for the pin. And Havoc is able to kick out. Holy cow. Vice looks to, she's gonna have to try to do a little bit more here to get the victory over Havoc. But what a nice move there. And look at, here's Havoc. He's got Vice up. Oh, power bomb, lung blower from Havoc. Jeez Louise. Havoc calling him up. He's gonna pump handle. Get him up in the air here. Drops him right down on his head. And now Havoc goes for the pin. Two, no. That pump handle Death Valley driver just not enough to put away Vice. And Havoc's now slow to move. Vice with a, again, another slow big punch and a nice clothesline there to Havoc who's trying to shake shake the, the fuzziness out of his head. Stomp. Oh my God. Face first, nothing to break his fall. And a big kick right to the side of the head. That's a smart move by Havoc, if I say so. You kick a guy in his head, get his... Oh, what a, look at this. Come on, ref. Come on, ref, you gotta pay attention. Havoc not happy that that didn't work. Sending Vice into the corner now. Oh boy. What is Havoc got in store here for Vice? Putting those legs on either side. And it looks like a Northern Lights. Oh my goodness. Just a back body drop off the top rope. Vice is slowly moving, if at all. He was tossed damn near all the way across the ring. Snapmare now by Havoc, and he's gonna lock in the sleeper hold. Catching his breath a little bit, making Vice work harder than he has to. And the harder you work trying to get out of a move, the more weakened you are. And now Vice with a snapmare, and he's gonna go for a a headlock of his own. Whatever you can do, I can do better, he says. He's got Havoc really, oh, that thing is really cinched in. Havoc having to fight his way out of it, and he finally does into a headlock and releases. Oh, spinning back fist. And now he's got Vice up, no, reverse DDT from Vice. He is gonna pick Havoc up, and here we go. No, looking for that DDT. And Havoc is able to worm his way out quickly down for the pin. Is that gonna do it? And no, a two count and look at the exhaustion on the face of Havoc. Oh boy. So we saw this earlier and it looks like he's setting him up for that pump handle. Death Valley driver, he's got Vice up right down on the base of his neck. Havoc quickly gets down. Hooks that leg. Is this gonna do it? And it does. Havoc, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner. And moves on to the second round of the Uprising Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Look at that, bam! Hades' last gift. That is putting away more people than not. And a powerbomb lung blower there. And a pump handle Death Valley. What a move, that is a fantastic move there from Havoc, and here is where the tables turn for Vice. Going for that Silver Spoon DDT, and Havoc was able to work himself out of it. And that is the, that was the turning point. And while he may have kicked out right there, he didn't kick out in the end. Vice rolls out of the ring, and Havoc, bloody and busted open, sits in the middle of the ring, but he sits there victorious. Moving on to the second round of the Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Well folks, Vice definitely proved that he can go and he can go with anybody and take him to the limit. And he did just that, but getting 
eliminated from the tournament there by Havoc. Well, moving along, here is the first round matchup for our Uprising Women's Championship. Coming to the ring first, this, ladies and gentlemen, is Aaliyah Marie. We have seen quite a bit of her on Showdown. And now she has a home, as does everyone else. Right here on Uprising, she is making her way to the ring. There she goes. Is she going to be able to advance? She did quite well in a um, eight-person battle royal, eight-woman battle royal on Showdown. She did very well. Well, I don't believe she won. I want to say Malaysia won, or she eliminated Malaysia. Not The details are fuzzy. Either way... Aaliyah Marie did a fantastic job. Well, she is going to be facing off against Tiffany. Tiffany, of course, in the tournament for the Rebellion Maidens Championship before being eliminated. And now Veronica Haas holds that title. Veronica Haas, your Maidens Champion, as I said, over on Rebellion, faced off against Selena at Capital Combat. And after that matchup where Veronica Haas won, she left the ring but quickly came back into the ring with a steel chair and proceeded to wail on Selena right into her ribcage multiple times. Selena has been placed on leave until we can get some further details about her injuries and whether or not she will be coming back. But here we go, Aaliyah in the pink. Oh, look at Tiffany here, starting things off with a massive jawbreaker. Good Lord. Aaliyah in the pink, Tiffany in the green, dropping that knee on the lower back of Aaliyah Marie. These two ladies have that golden opportunity that I mentioned about earlier where everybody's getting a shot at the championships here on Uprising. Oh, man. Tiffany going to town with those knees to the face and upper body of Lee. Oh, big knee to the face as Aaliyah was full on running towards Tiffany. Nice job though to get out of that and get Tiffany quickly with a kick to the head. Then Aaliyah with a fireman's carry. These ladies going back and forth. She's gonna hook her up here. Oh, back body drop there from Aaliyah Marie. Jawbreaker though from Tiffany. Both of these women going at it and another knee to the face. And that kind of turn tips the scales in Tiffany's favor all the way to the top rope. Oh, nice diving moon stomp. And she goes to the other turnbuckle. She's trying to get these fans fired up. Which it looks like she has done. Holy cow, what a reversal there from Ali Marie, my goodness. Flips out of that and drops Tiffany. Tiffany quickly responds and a stomp to the stomach and she walks through it. Tiffany may not weigh that much, but however much weight is on your stomach area driving the wind out, that is definitely not a good feeling as Aaliyah gets hung out to dry on the top rope. And again, Tiffany back to the top turnbuckle. Going for a moonsault and lands on Aaliyah Marie, but possibly injuring herself in the process. Tiffany, though, is the first to her feet. Doesn't give Aaliyah the opportunity to stand. She's going to drag Aaliyah away from the ropes. And a knee right to the lower back. Tiffany is in like full control here. She's dancing in the ring. These fans are loving it. They've got their camera phones out, snapping pictures and taking videos. And look at this. Up and, oh, nice suplex there. Wrist, oh, and not done. She drops the knee on the elbow. Quickly going for the pin. Two, no. Leah Marie is gonna kick out. What a move there, and now look at look at Tiffany. She is gearing up here, folks. 
Oh, man, what a boot right to the face. She's going to get down there for the cover. And Aaliyah Marie is not giving up that easily. The ref on one knee is pretty much the same size, <clears throat> excuse me, as, as uh, Tiffany. Tiffany was arguing that it had to be a three count. The ref said not this time, it was just a two count. Dragging Aaliyah now to her feet, and Aaliyah delivers a nice clothesline to hopefully swing things back her direction. Got Tiffany now center of the ring and drops her head right across the knee. That is not something you want to have happen to you very often. Clothesline, a second clothesline. Ducking, kick, super kick right to the face of Tiffany. Reversal though, she stops a big right hand and a knee to the stomach for putting boots to the chest of Aaliyah. Tiffany now just st watching, staring at Aaliyah, admiring her handiwork. And she's going to give Aaliyah the opportunity to stand here is what it looks like, and she's going to need assistance from the ropes. Shot to the back. And like a lion in the jungle, Tiffany is attacking. Aaliyah is doing everything she can to defend herself she is just catching a beating right now. Look at this. Frog splash from the apron. Goes for the pin. Two. Oh my goodness. Aaliyah Marie kicking out of anything and everything that is thrown at her here from Tiffany. Shot to the face. Tiffany rolls through it. Side rushing leg sweep there. Just as Aaliyah looks to get a little bit of momentum swinging her way. Tiffany quickly, quickly shuts that down. Big bro kick there. And now going for the pin once again. Good Lord Almighty. My, my, my. Aaliyah Marie not wanting to give up. Backbreaker into a neckbreaker. Aaliyah, there's no shame in throwing in the towel. You have taken quite the beating here at the hands of Tiffany. But she's not ready to give up. Aaliyah now, big knee to the midsection. A shot to the face, into the corner goes Tiffany from one side of the ring to the other. What a clothesline. Driving Tiffany hard into that turnbuckle. And now, whoa. She's gonna sling Tiffany and hooking her up here in what looks to be a, a sit-down abdominal stretch. And I don't think Tiffany's gonna tap out just yet. And she has been in control pretty much this entire match. But my goodness, Aaliyah's got that thing locked in and she's gonna let go. But quickly now goes for the pin. She's gonna force Tiffany to use more of that strength. And an elbow right across the face and forehead of Tiffany now. What's Aaliyah doing? She's hopping outside. She's gonna deliver some springboard action of her own. She does in an elbow drop right to the midsection. Completely folded Tiffany there. Into the corner she goes. Aaliyah taking her time to get there. She's gonna pick Tiffany up, stick her up there on that top rope. This cannot be good. This cannot be good at all. Setting her up on the top rope, superplex. And she goes for the pin wisely. That is a fantastic idea, Leah. And wow, and pretty handily kicks out at two. And Leah is annoyed. Dropping elbows on the head of Tiffany once again. Got her up and bends her, folds her right in half. She whips her head forward. Aaliyah now has got Tiffany up. No, she is not having that shot to the stomach. Tiffany wants things back in her court. Look at this, ducks under and drops Aaliyah on her head. Follows that up with a German. 
We're gonna see that one more. No, spins her around into a suplex. Nice combination of moves there from Tiffany. And now she is begging Aaliyah to get to her feet and another bro kick right to the face. She goes down for the pin. Ref gets in position. Oh my God, another two count. Tiffany is throwing everything she has at Aaliyah right now. Up to the second rope. And Aaliyah moves out of the way from the dive. From Oh, kick to the side of the head now. And a stomp right on the face. Aaliyah looks like things are swinging her way. Big knee to the back of the head. And now Aaliyah gearing up to take out Tiffany. And what a famous are there. And Aaliyah goes down for the pin. Tiffany, I don't think, is going to let... Well, I was incorrect before I could even finish it. And that is quite, quite surprising to see that happen. Aaliyah Marie sneaks out the victory over Jessica, or excuse me, over Tiffany. What are we going to see here? Aaliyah sticks out her hand and Tiffany shakes it. Classy women here in the ring. Your winner, surprisingly, is Aaliyah. Well, here we go, folks, for the first time here in SWF. It is a tournament for the Uprising Tag Team Championships. And as we see Sons of Carnage, Jesse Newman on the right, James Gaines the third on the left. We saw James previously in that six-man matchup. We're gonna see Jesse later on in the main event, but right now, they've got a tag team matchup in the first round of this Uprising Tag Team Tournament. And as you saw, the tables on the outside, tag team matches on Uprising, every single one of them is a tables match. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Not only do we have tag team titles, and not only do we have tag team tournament, but every single one of these is going to be a tag team tables match. So that is going to bring some uh, interesting aspects, if I say so myself, here to this tournament. It is not a normal tag, it's Tornado. So all four gentlemen will be in the ring at the same time. Their opponents for this matchup. It is Alex Corzo with the SWF Championship contract. His brother, Marco Corzo, there with the red hoodie. This is the Tijuana family. Alex Corzo, of course, wearing that SWF Championship contract after he pulled it down 15 feet above the air against a match with Hunter King for their efforts in the crowning achievement Prime Rumble. Alex Corzo won that championship, and he can use that to uh, cash in on any singles championship of his choice, whether it be the SWF World Heavyweight Championship or the SWF Television title. That is solely up to him. But here we go, the Sons of Carnage, the Tijuana family. It is Tornado Tag action, and right away, Cor I can't say Corzo, there's two of them. Marco, big gut buster there to James. Jesse doing his thing over there with Alex Corzo. There's going to be a lot going on in this matchup, so I'm going to try to keep up and call accordingly. Alex with a Michinoku driver. James over there. Nice flipping face buster. Good grief. Kind of looked like he was going for a neck breaker of some sort. Alex Corzo gets reversed there, and James gains the third, not getting too high off the ground just because of his his height, but he was still able to hit Marco with that face buster. Jesse Newman going to the top row. Marco, though, he's got James. Oh, Jesse misses. James hits, gets hit with a big suplex. And now, oh, I was going to say Jesse Newman is outnumbered, but he quickly resolves that issue by sending Alex Corzo over the top rope. Oh, man, into a gut buster by Marco. And now the Tijuana family are in the ring alone with Jesse Newman. Big elbow to the face. And just like that, Marco 
Tries to step out of the ring, but James is going to catch him. Give him some forearm shots. What a moonsault there by Alex. And a backstabber by Gaines. And now, oh, my goodness. Now Marco is outside the ring. And Alex is outnumbered, but he looks to be turning the tables here. Spinning Gaines around, but does not see Newman coming up behind him. Oh, nice reversal, though. Alex holding his own, that's for sure. Quickly getting dropped, though. Oh, Marco with that Luthez. And it seems to be a pattern here as one team member gets tossed out. The other is outnumbered. Newman making his way to his feet. Alex letting Marco go to town on James. Now they switch partners as Newman comes back into the ring. And Marco's not going to let Gaines do anything there to his brother. And a reversal there from James. Reversal, though, from Marco. Look at James. Oh! And a Michinoku driver from Marco as Alex has to roll out of the ring. The same neck breaker he just delivered to Alex, he delivers to Marco. Alex, though, stirring on the outside. Look at, oh, what a move. Face first into the knee of James Gaines. Uh, yeah, of James Gaines. And here we go. Jesse Newman, James taunting. Boom. No, Marco misses. He reverses that sliding knee. Look at this. Nice suplex there. Holy cow. Marco holding on just long enough to where he doesn't go falling through that table on the outside and causing his team the, the match here. Alex getting the table. First table introduced here in this uprising tag team tables match. He is going to well, I was going to say stack it in the corner. Looked like he decided to change his mind. Look, possibly looking for some direction from his brother. And James Gaines is going to take advantage. Marco with the reversal and a big drop kick right to the face of Newman. And then Marco delivers a Russian leg sweep to James. He's going to get out of that, though. Alex posing in the corner and gets a boot to the gut for his efforts. And now it's one-on-one. -on -one. Hanging from the top rope, DDT from JG3. Both men on the outside starting to move and a big knee, running knee right to the face of Alex Corzo. And here comes the DDT, my goodness. Right, drops Alex right down on his head. Marco back into the ring now. Oh boy, here we go. Marco. Big chop up against the table. Newman, though, stumbles to the out or towards the center of the ring. Alex is putting Jesse up. Or excuse me, James up on the top rope. And look at Marco, and Jesse's gonna move. But oh my gosh. That avalanche pedigree from the second rope. Oh, good move there. Smart move by Alex. Newman and Marco were pretty close to that table. Alex picked it up to move it just in time. Jesse now sending Marco and James sending Alex. Everybody's trying to get onto this table. Marco is there. Look at Jesse Newman. Face first goes Marco. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this matchup. Your winners, the Sons of Carnage, Jesse Newman and James Gaines III. What a hectic, hectic match. That was, and that can, I mean, it, it can be anybody's match here. We take a look, oh, there it is. That knee right to the jaw. And we see Jesse drop Alex right on his head. And look at this chop, bam. Wise though of Jesse to wander out into the center of the ring. And a big, uh, how James did not get knocked out after that, I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, your winners of this matchup and moving on, to the second round where the rest of the teams already are. We had to have a one-off matchup here. James Gaines and Jesse Newman, the Sons of Carnage, ladies and gentlemen, move on to the next round of the Uprising Tag Team Tournament.
Coming up next and making her way to the ring is a newcomer here in SWF. This is Haley Nichols, one half or partner, I should say, of the winner of our first matchup this evening, Seb Abbott. I believe he calls himself the Melbourne Maniac or something similar, which who can blame him? That man looks like a psychopath, that is for sure. But Haley's slowly making her way down to the ring. This is a matchup in round one for the Uprising Phoenix Championship. That is our women's division here on Uprising. If you haven't gotten a chance to take a look at the new women's championship, it was just posted on our Twitter page, as well as a full list of our championship titles posted on our Twitter page. Also on Reddit, our backslash WWE games. You can check us out there as well. Haley, newcom newcomer here. She is ready to go. She is ready to advance herself in this tournament. I don't blame her at all. But her opponent, ladies and gentlemen, she is one third of the Blonde Beauty Club, as we just saw. This is Brittany, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, the other members are Ashley and Angelina Lane. Angelina Lane is the leader, I should say, of the Blonde Beauty Club. Brittany's slowly making her way to the ring, and her eyes are piercing Haley Nichols. There we see Beauty Club on the back of her jacket. She is ready to go, not donning her matching tag team attire that she wears with Ashley and Angelina Lane. She is wearing the black and red tonight to show her solidarity. And she, whoa, okay. She's got a little thing going on, a little thing. She backs into her corner and these fans are ready to go to see some Phoenix action here. Haley Nichols, the newcomer. Brittany, not impressed, it doesn't look like at all. And whoa, starting things off Crazy front flip Hurricane Rana from Brittany. My goodness. That is definitely a, an excellent way to get started on a match. Big knee to the lower back. Brittany says, is this, is this who you want as your champ? She points to Haley. Look at this. Captain's underhook, or so, I believe that's called, and she quickly puts it into a submission hold and just completely ripping at the back and just like that ladies and gentlemen Brittany is your winner and Haley Nichols taps out just as quick as this match has gotten started we take a look here how it ends look at this toss just completely flipping her backwards and then keeping it locked in twisting the neck and bending at the back of Haley Nichols until she taps out right there my goodness, in and out, Brittany is not playing around. Her counterparts are also in this tournament, and if they have to face each other, then so be it. That is what's gonna have to happen. But ladies and gentlemen, Brittany is your winner, tapping out Haley Nichols. She is moving on to the next round of this Phoenix Championship Tournament. Well, folks, the time has come, and it is now time for the main event of the evening. We have a second six-man, I don't want to call it a battle royal. Nobody's going over the top rope. You must pin or submit your opponent to eliminate them. It is a six-man elimination match. The final two men moving on to next week's uprising at a shot for that television championship as we see Hunter King making his way to the ring and as stated earlier we've got marco corzo coming down to the ring he was uh unsuccessful in his attempt to move on him and his brother alex to move on in the tag team tournament so we'll see how he acts in this matchup the third man to enter the ring is the tag team partner of brian the brain ladies and gentlemen this is ends the tag team is what they are called and coming in, we just saw Jesse Newman and James Gaines defeat the Tijuana family to move on 
in the tag team tournament. One of these men, men is very possible, could hold two titles, a television championship and a tag team championship. We will have to see, of course, how everything plays out. The next man coming to the ring. We've seen him before. It's Wayne Level, that's right. One half of the cleaners. His tag team partner, Vice, was unable to defeat Havoc earlier in the night in the SWF Heavyweight Championship Tournament. So Wayne Level looks to bring himself some gold, possibly, into the cleaners' locker room. They still are in that tag team championship tournament, as well as this man, Malcolm Black, and Bruiser Brad, the Fallen Kingdom in that tag team tournament. And Malcolm Black possibly has the opportunity to bring the television championship over to the Fallen Kingdom. Could you imagine Malcolm Black wins the television championship, Bruiser Brad wins the Uprising Heavyweight Championship, and then these two men win the tag team tournament and win the tag team titles. They're gonna hold every piece of gold on Uprising. Of course, other than the Women's Championship, which very possibly um, a trade could happen to get the remainder of the Fallen Kingdom over to Uprising, Mason Foster and Rebecca Evans. We'll have to see how that plays out throughout the week in the upcoming Rebellion. Nice suplex there by Jesse Newman. Look at Wayne, oh, Wayne looked to be going for a, a T-bone suplex it looked like. Corzo was able to work himself out of it. Ends getting his arm raked over the shoulder of Hunter King. Jesse Newman goes for a senton, but Malcolm Black moves. Look at Hunter King, what a move that was. He had ends up on his shoulders, drops him down head first. Doesn't go for the pin right away. My God, power bomb from Hunter King, but also Jesse Newman just slammed his boot across the face of Malcolm Black. Nice suplex there by Marco. This is just as chaotic as the first match and just as chaotic as that tag team match. My gosh, ends dive, dodges the diving fist of Hunter King and Malcolm Black flipping power bomb over in the corner and a big forearm by Marco. Trying to trying to keep an eye on all of these things. Swinging neck breaker from ends. DDT from Malcolm Black. Marco Corzo has got Vice uh, or excuse me, Wayne Level up and he hangs him over the top rope. Malcolm Black, whoa, my goodness, just jumps crotch first into the face of Jesse Newman and a running neck breaker from Hunter King who takes the time to pose and look at Wayne Level driving his knees right into the face. Marco Corzo, good Lord. And a swanton, look at Hunter King again. Holding ends over, not keeping it, not holding it for the pin. Interesting to see. Wayne Level with a blue thunder bomb. Jesse Newman, big front drop kick to the face of Malcolm Black. This is insanity. This is insanity to say the least. Look at Level, he's got, oh nice suplex there. Hunter King looked to have ends in a figure four. Malcolm Black with a Meteora takes Jesse Newman down. Malcolm Black doing a little taunting. Wayne Level with a nice suplex on Corzo. And Hunter King unable to get to the corner and trips over Corzo. Malcolm Black first, face first, sends Jesse Newman into the turnbuckle. The pace has kind of slowed a tad bit. Oh, a pop-up fastball. Punch right to the face by Jesse Newman on Malcolm Black. And a kick out by Corzo and a DDT by Jesse. My gosh. Malcolm Black sure is taking a beating. Close line there by King. Corzo reverses, as does ends. And a reversal from Malcolm Black. This is a lot happening at once. Ends has got Hunter King up. Malcolm Black gets busted open by Jesse Newman. And a big elbow, no, Wayne Level. Get his diving elbow is dodged. 
Jesse Newman with Malcolm Black in a lion tamer, what it looks like. Hunter King, he just dropped ends with the dethroned, that bridging powerbomb type move. And no, ends is gonna kick out. Marco still on his, oh, we got a pin. Jesse Newman and Malcolm Black, he kicks out. Big knee to the face by Wayne Level to Marco. He is gonna grab Jesse Newman though in a Tiger Suplex, nice job right there. Jesse, or excuse me, ends, getting worked. Working over Hunter King, nice German suplex there from Wayne. In a second, he looks to be going for the hat trick and a third one there, suplex by Corzo. Look at ends, he's hooking up Hunter King in that figure four. And he is just cranking away. Over in the far side DDT by Jesse Newman. And oh, Corzo overshoots his his body splash, lands right on his face. And what a move, this springboard, it's too much. There's too much going on. Springboard, Insiguri by Malcolm Black. Super kick by Wayne Level. And he stomps on Hunter King to break up the pin. I'm not quite sure why he would choose to do that as it is elimination. And he gets a knee to the face from Hunter King. Jesse Newman and Hunter King going at it on Wayne Level here. Stomp to the face of Wayne. There's a lot happening. Oh, and a big kick to the face of Wayne Level. Corzo diving all over the ring. He's got blood all over his face. Wayne is getting pinned by Hunter King. Hunter King using the ropes. The ref counts. No, just a two count. Oh, and a big diving stomp. Calls that the piene forte to dur something. I don't speak French, I don't know. Ends kicks out of the dirty pin from Marco. And now Hunter King calling Malcolm Black up to his feet. Oh man, what a cutter, the guillotine. And a blue thunder bomb from Hunter King. Malcolm Black being pinned, and at the last second kicks out at two. My gosh, that was crazy. Hunter King now looking at Wayne Level. He's got him up, looks for the dethroned. Yes, it is. As he flips backwards, driving Level's head into the mat. He goes for the pin. The ref sees it from the other side, and that's going to be it for Wayne Level. First man eliminated here in this matchup. Corzo has got ends. Look at this. Got him up. Drops him hard across the back of his head. That is the Aztec driver. Hunter King being pinned by Malcolm Black. And no, he's going to kick out at two. Wayne level finally getting up to his feet and exiting the ring. Corzo with the pin on ends. No. Another kick out at two. Hunter King has got Malcolm Black up and a powerbomb lung blower. Good Lord. What a move there by Hunter King. And look at Jesse Newman working over the leg of Malcolm Black. They could possibly face each other in this tag team tournament, so that's probably not a bad idea. Work over your partner there. Oh, face first into the corner goes Hunter King right to the boot of ends. And Malcolm Black dodges the drop kick. Ends in the corner now. He's got Mal or excuse me, he's got Hunter King and Marco Corzo right on top of him. King somehow ends up in the turnbuckle. Marco sending ends up a big DDT. That's got to be the third DDT Malcolm Black has taken. And oh my. Taking out Hunter King. Here we go. The Avalanche pile driver. Oh. Ends face first right onto the boot of Malcolm Black. That is going to put him out for some, quite some time. He might be out for a while here. Black shaking the cobwebs. Got blood running down his face. He's got Hunter King. He's going to hook him up on the ropes. Whoa! Corzo with a nice move there. He's going for the pin on Jesse Newman. And no, Jesse is out. Big knee to the chest of Hunter King. 
And look at this. Oh, Corzo works himself out of it in a big clothesline on ends. But Malcolm Black has got Corzo up now. Nice Hurricane Rana. Look to uh, possibly be some sort of power bomb by Marco, but no, Malcolm is, delivers the Hurricane Rana, gets the two count. And Jesse Newman with that diving foot stomp once again. That could put Marco out as he goes down for the pin. And is Jesse Newman, yes he does. He eliminates Marco Corzo for the second time. Remember earlier in the night, Jesse Newman put Corzo face first through that table. So that possibly could have affected this matchup in some way. And a big kick to the stomach. A kick, oh, back drop kick by Malcolm Black. Malcolm Black delivered that big move to Jesse Newman and a, and a Hurricane Rana there, 200 King from Malcolm Black and Jesse Newman with a big Bulldog coming out of the corner. He is fired up, everyone laid out but Newman. Ends and Hunter King get up to their feet in stereo. Oh, nice sliding face buster there. Hung over the top rope is Hunter King. Backbreaker into a Russian leg sweep by Newman on Malcolm Black. Two pins going here. I think Hunter King is getting pinned first, but everybody kicks out at two in unison. Fantastic series there. Nice reversal from Malcolm and a reversal from Jesse Newman. Hunter King fights out of the grasp of ends, and he's got him. Oh, no. Hunter King possibly was going for the dethrone, but ends reversed it. Big, big clothesline there. Tiger Tiger Bomb from ends. My gosh, there's a lot going on. Malcolm Black delivers the huge clothesline to Jesse Newman. And here we go. The Sunset Flip Power Bomb. Does he go for the pin on Jesse Newman? I would, but no, he's gonna go up top. And a big diving elbow. Now he goes for the pin as ends. Sets Hunter King up. Oh, Jesse Newman's been eliminated. Hunter King's been busted open. Backstabber now from ends. Three men remaining. Remember, well, here we go. Is Hunter King about to be eliminated? No, he is not. Malcolm Black perches himself on the top rope. The last two men remaining in this matchup will move on to the final four and the fatal four-way in next week's Uprising episode. Reversal from King and dodges out of the way his ends. Now King getting kicked back and forth. Malcolm Black going up top. Imploding 450. Takes out ends on the way down. Hunter King still laid out. Boy, they are teaming up on Hunter King. Perhaps they feel he's gotten too many opportunities as of late. They are not joking around. That Black steps down and a shot to the chest by ends. Kick to the midsection, a flipping sunset flip power bomb there. And oh, Malcolm Black looks to be going after ends. Nobody's going after Hunter King. He is most likely out for the count, but nobody's going for the pin. And Malcolm Black pushes ends away. And another shot right to the midsection. Chop reversed, look at ends. Big neck breaker from ends. And Hunter King tries to capitalize with the pin on Malcolm Black, but he's unable to do so. Now the two men, these two men are teaming up, taking on Malcolm Black. Malcolm goes on Hunter King's end, sends Black into the corner. We know what could be coming up next. Ends puts up the boot and face first. Goes to Malcolm Black, side rushing leg sweep there. My, my, my. There's a lot happening in this matchup, and Hunter King takes off Inz's head with that clothesline. Good Lord. Face buster by Hunter King. And now he's working Inz over in the corner area. He's going to send Inz across the ring. Black back up to his feet. What's, What's going to happen here? Black gets in there before King can do anything. 
and a top rope Hurricane Rana. Nice move there by Black. He's gonna run over top rope. Another diving elbow right to the chest of ends. One, two, and Hunter King takes out the referee. He wants to be, well, if he wanted to be in the final four uh, fatal four-way match, I don't know what he's doing there. But look at ends. He catches Malcolm Black off the top rope and hangs him over that same top rope. Good Lord. Hunter King shot to the back of ends. He's got him hooked up. Oh, nice reversal from ends into that body splash. The ref comes to just in time for ends to get the pin. And he is going to use those ropes. What a dirty, dirty tactic. And Hunter King has been eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, ends and Malcolm Black will be in that final four-way matchup. Oh, reverse Frankensteiner. Malcolm Black pandering to the crowd ends though using the ropes to get to his feet I might have stayed down if it were me and a big clothesline there from Malcolm Black kick to the stomach now well this has got to be it I would think sunset flip powerbomb holding it for the pin one two and that's it ladies and gentlemen he is heading into next week's episode both men, I should say, are heading into next week's episode of Uprising. And in that fatal four-way matchup, a television champion will be crowned. Of course, following along with them is Seb Abbott and James Gaines. I'm really interested to see how James Gaines and Enns handle this. Because if either one of those men win, they still, well, knock them black now too. The only person not in a tag team is Seb Abbott, so we will have to see if he can pull it out against all odds. Thank you, everyone, for joining us in this inaugural episode of Uprising. I, of course, have been CM Puma, and we will see you soon on Rebellion.